<laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Sam actually pushed his last uh, failing test. I think he I, was. I looked and I didn't see anything in there, so I just I, applied uh, the fix that we discussed in the chat, and we should be ready for him to do whatever he needs to do. Did you push it too? Uh yeah. Am I looking at the wrong branch? What up, Paul? Hey guys. Go to where we generate those three, uh, those three tests for the Is keyword, the... the equals, and then uh, um, parameter. I think, or some. I forget what we called it. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, let's That's see. Nice. So view incoming, outgoing. Uh, so the last thing was pushed as you, right? Okay. Go drop. Huh. What up, Sam? Way too early for Sam. <laughs> way, Hi, Paul. Way, Hi, way, too, way, way too early for this brother. Hey, Sam. How's it going? Who is the way to hold it? Why? Why? Uh, is this too early? Eight o'clock? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, right? It's, it works. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so let's see here. So this is the projection service. We basically went and said, no, we want a bunch of different projections. And on that realm, we basically added a bunch of things. Uh, Sam, I don't know. Like you, you pu you pushed a snippet of code in Discord. No, I don't know. Let, no, let me push it. Okay, share your screen. Let's see what you have. Because because you're gonna have to give us a failing test too, right? Okay. <laughs> Are you at home or in the office today? Home. Home, sweet home. <laughs> Look behind you. Behind me? Oh, this is yeah. this is not real. This is just a screen. What's the screen like? Hey Sam, check this out. I got myself like a like a surface hub. Because I don't want to go all the way back there to draw on the board. So I thought I'm going to get myself a good Surface Hub to do stuff. What do you think about that? When you stop over here, I'll show it to you. Okay, okay. there it is. There's his, his, his light mode. I love the idea of the Hub, but they're really expensive. They're the sort of thing that you really don't want to buy as an individual. But for a business tool, brilliant. It's perfect. Do my stand-up on it. Make team yeah. calls, play video games, at work. It's great. Okay, Sam. What? So this is okay. So just make sure you sync up because I think Joe pushed some stuff as well. Mm -hmm. uh yeah. So I'd uh, like to leave that fix for John. Uh, Joe. Um, you wanna let Joe do the fix? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's my change. Okay, so you have one failing test. What test is that? The projection. Hmm, you still failing? So this guy is failing. Why? Because this guy is saying, uh, I'm going to give you dollar sign filter, and I expect you to return that as a keyword. Um, dollar sign is a keyword. Yeah, and it didn't seem to do that, right? So we must have missed something. The real question I have here is that why did it? Um, wait, you have starts with dollar dollar. Mm hmm. Why dollar dollar? So that's a bug. Mm. 
Can you see that here is a code? Um, yeah, so return a dollar, get a random keyword, yeah. but uh, wrap a Jeez, with the internet. Okay. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. So have a dollar in the random keyword and put the dollar again. What? I don't get it, Sam. I'm I'm a little uh Paul, do you get that one? I I'm not getting it. Maybe Paul did. Yeah, where's the extra dollar coming from? Here. That's just one dollar. Where's the it's other just... dollar? Here. What is that? Bro. So you got dollar. Oh, okay. He so we append a dollar in that case, but the random word already has a dollar sign in. Yeah. Here is a first dollar, and here is a second dollar. Oh, why did we do that? That's bad. Let's take that know. out. Let's take that out. That was what we were discussing in Discord, where we, um, where I said that we were doing that wrong. I, I have no idea. People are there's like five different people talking to me at the same time on Discord. It's insane. Uh, let's let's take that out, Paul. Let's see if we can. Only five. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like this one is talking about EF and this one is talking about the PDF and this one is talking about using some guy I don't know he wants to use a common I literally just talked about entanglement oh my god okay anyway take away take away that dollar sign and then let's move on let's do it we could do it Sam now run the runnies run everything <laughs> I think that part is already done in in the no. in the branch if you get latest, I believe it should have all that fixed. Okay, Sam, can you stash the stuff and do things? I don't know. Is Sam up? All right, Sam, are you operating on? We might need to change that FL statement to something cute like switch case, match case, stuff like that. So, all pass. I love it. I love that. Okay, <laughs> now, 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 stash that. Stash it and get latest. Get Joe's stuff. Uh, commit. Right? This one. Not this one. This one. Well, you want to stash it first to see, so you don't conflict with Joe, because he already pushed something up there. I missed try. He's just if gonna he just run... doesn't get latest, it'll tell him what the conflicts are locally. Yep, it's just gonna blow up. Yep, that's true. Let's go, yes, I'm shoot. Commit and a push. Okay, commit and push sounds good to me. Could use a space before and after the arrow. Did the join um, push. Yeah. Something to the repo. No. Yeah, he yeah he did. He pushed something to the repo, Sam. <laughs> mm. Okay. It works. It works like a charm. Okay. No. It's still saying outgoing. So. Pause and push. Yeah. So you can't you can't actually. Um, you, you can't uh, put it put completed with conflicts. There you go. So now right click on that file and fix the conflicts. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. He fixed it. He basically went and said, oh, I'm just going to do. No, I think your solution is better. Right. So take this one. Yeah, take, take the lift, I think. What's this one? Oh, it's a test. So, so Joe initialized the mnemonic string inside the random keyword. Wait. Yeah, take take the one on the left. The one on the left is all right. The one on the left is the one I changed. Okay, let's take Joe's stuff. So, so you're just gonna need to check the checkbox, Sam. Take this one. 
Yeah, take take. Okay, sure. So so check the check box on the left. Line seventy eight. Line seventy eight. Okay. There you go, and then click accept merge at the top. There you go. Hallelujah! You just made it. Yay! Yeah. All right, now push and push, push and merge. You still owe me a failing test, though. Let me run in. Ah, oh, my life is hard. Okay. Okay, I say, sounds good. Okay, now we need a failing test, my friend. We need a, we need a way to go and say we need to add something more in there. So so far we did the keyword assignment, um, uh, word. I think mm -hmm. we called it property. Property assign and the keyword. We need we need something more. So let's say it's a filter, and you're basically saying something like starts with. So, so let's just go through a real scenario in our head, right? We said dollar sign, select equal name. Great. That wraps up that scenario. What if we want to do something like a, a dollar sign filter equal? Wait, right? are we handling equal, the EQ? No, this is the equal sign. Ah. We oh, so when we, when we do like name equals Sam. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. not yet. That's that's this one that we're going to go to. So this is equal. So wait, how are we going to treat empty spaces? How are we going to treat an empty space? Like nothing. It doesn't mean anything to us, right? What space? Like an empty space, like a separator, no space. Yeah, you could just call it white space, right? But uh, but it's useless for for this projection service, is it? Is it? Didn't you say you wanted to be able to do it both okay. ways, right? That's that's the only problem that I have. Got going backwards. You won't be able to roll backwards this way. Okay. Yeah, then. So for reversibility, you want to keep the white space. Then then just put space in there. So projected type is space, Sam. Like out of space. Okay. And then just put a space. And then just make sure it gets translated. And then just make sure the test fails. And then we'll we'll get Paul to write some code because he's been dropping the poll and no data. Paul, do you even have the code anymore? I think so. Yeah, I've just been busy doing other headaches that you've thrown at me. <laughs> do, do, do you know how to use Visual Studio? That's kind of important. No idea, mate. Never used it. <laughs> also, to teach me. Git and GitHub are also required skills for this one. <laughs> no idea how to use them either. <laughs> Never used them before. Mm. Huh? Actually, you know, I, that's not I, far from the truth. I, I do use Azure DevOps for like our work stuff, see, so we don't really actively use GitHub. Do not microwave. We own, we don't have the old token type for the space. We shouldn't. It's a separator. No, separator? Sam. Th yeah, this is fine. It's just a separator. Yep. Let's go. Let's go to town. I'd like to add more for Paul to finish fix. Nah, <laughs> just just <laughs> just give him one at a time, just to get the team back on track, and then we'll just add all of them at once. Bill? Please, put, please put a space before and after the thin arrow. You know, you know the land is very open. It's America. There's so much land, so. <laughs> Put the space. Did... <laughs> Go ahead, Paul. It's your turn. So I finished my session. Finished my part. You finished? What? Well, are you gonna? Are you dropping? No, it's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I say I'm shoot. We'll get to the bottom of this. What branch are we in these days? Oh boy. Foundations, projections. Yeah. How you doing, Joe? Doing good. Good. Finding more stuff around here that I gotta go through. What What happened behind you? 
<laughs> oh, this is so. Now that I'm using this as my office space for working at home, I'm just bringing all my technology from the rest of the house where it's just been taking up space and bringing in here because I got to go through it at some point. Like okay. this guy oh. here is all sorts of hard drives and 200 gig hard drive from like forever ago. Just yeah. got to go through them, make sure I don't need anything. When I'm done with that, then they get recycled. I don't want them anymore. Sounds good. Put this back up. Yeah, I got my different iPads and just stuff. Cool. Paul, you're going to have to share your screen. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the branch. Uh, it's not listed in Visual Studio. Uh, search for projection. Above <coughs> where you see all the branches, you should be able to search. I got to get this working again. Little Raspberry Pi touch screen thing. Okay. Any second now, Paul. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not not seeing it. Who created it? Presumably Hassan, right? Yep. Yeah. Always, as usual. Isn't it? It annoys me that there isn't like a, a refresh in here. Uh, fetch would do that. Did Did we kick him? Did we kick him out of the repo, Sam? Is that what happened? It's, oh, it's it. users Hassan Habib foundations it. hyphen projections. Yeah, he he figured it out. He he's 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 a little smart, just a little. He can get there. Occasionally, yeah. You only need not very work. often, just occasionally. <laughs> right, where are we at these days? You it's know, you know what's my favorite thing about Paul? He defines his private class members with an uppercase. <laughs> Because he just started writing code yesterday. <laughs> oh, there's some typos in my code. Mm. Oh, I'll have to have a look at that. Okay, run the code, buddy. Let's see. Am I just run running the... all the tests? Yeah, that would be the thing to do for test-driven development. Cool. <laughs> Mm, it looks like you have a failing test. What does that even mean? <coughs> can you zoom in a little bit and minimize your screen so humans can see what you're doing? Be nice. Mm -hmm. So so here's the deal, Paul. If you go into that theory, um, uh, get projected tokens. So inside that guy, there is a a collection. If you scroll down, scroll down, so there it is. So you see there's a bunch of things. Sam just give you that empty space. And we need to turn that into a projected token of type space that still maintains the original values. So let's go to the logic of this guy and see how things look. There it is. Looks like another if statement for you. Or we could use switch cases. That would be nice, but Yeah, when I when I uh changed the code to fix fix our uh our keyword stuff, I actually came in here and did switch case and I'm like, no, that's too much. I gotta undo that. I'll even do a match, but we'll get to that part. We'll we'll fix it. What do you want me to do then? Shall I add another if for now and then we'll refactor it later? Can we get enough cases for you know what if if you are in the mood to do some good work boy scout rule you know Come leave on. it better than you found it <laughs> and then and then 20 hours later <laughs> paul wardy is still looking 
Should I just start playing Halo and let me know when you're done? <laughs> this is are you going to do a switch statement or a switch expression? There you go. There it is. Look at that. Switch. Raw value. Look at you. Mm -hmm. I think they're all about, you, you switch the order of those two. Yeah. That's the other way around, isn't it? Yeah. I was yeah. I mean, switch statements, expression body switch statements are not intuitive. They're not like what I'm used to with C sharp. I don't know why. I've just never clicked with them. We'll take that feedback to heart. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the syntactic part, you could have been like switch space on and then give the value would have been more readable yeah more. like i'm used to c sharp being a bit more fluent and it's almost back to front on the fluency side if that makes sense oh we're leaning functional now because it's what the cool kids are doing yeah sort of oh well <laughs> you can't win them all <laughs> we're, we we're functional fluent hybrid visual basic nfts cryptocurrency programming language <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Joe, have you ever watched that movie, Wild Wild West? Jim West, uh, Desperado? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Pops in my head every now and then. Yep. What happened to Sam? Did he go kind of... He's just Damn. snickering at us behind the scenes there. Yep, yeah, he just goes to get his breakfast. See, that's just the thing. It's too early for him. I know that. Okay, you're eating. Got it. Sounds good. You're on mute. Okay, you're in a meeting. Uh, I can't tell what you're saying. What I'm were you just saying? Here. Oh, you're just here. Okay. Okay, Sam. I love you, Sam. I want you to know that. Okay. I don't want to give Paul a lot of too many. Pleasure. Remind me again how how this works. <laughs> throw, throw a discard in front of the when. Yep. Discard. Yep, there mm -hmm. you go. Nope. Just win. There you go. That's it. And then your go to goes at the end. At the very end, put a fat arrow and then do the yep. <laughs> and that one's gonna be a yeah, you got it. He's, he's got brains. He can do it. <laughs> right, and then I just add my other... Can you put it case, on... Right? Can, can you put it on the same line for now, please? Just so we can... Sorry, I know what you like with new lines, so I thought I'd, I'd chuck one in there. I do, but, uh, you know, we just I just want to see what you're doing first. Didn't... Fair okay. Enough. Space. Okay. All right, here we go. Lord we help us all. Yeah, looks great. Look at that. It's almost like refactoring makes code so much more readable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's run. <laughs> this relationship is just going up and down. It's just not going. <laughs> <laughs> A roller coaster is <laughs> just not working. Are, are you actually typing? Okay, so just go and copy the. Okay, that's fine too. Mm. He wants to type the test name. That's fine, isn't it? I'm supposed to do this, right? Thin arrow, though. Oh, only a thin arrow now. Okay. Okay, give me a failing test. We good. Right. So the EQ, we're going to change it into equals, right, Joe? The EQ keyword. It's just going to be equals, right? That makes sense. Let's do it. Only way to it is to do it. Well, um, token type we're going to have for this one, then. Is this going to be um, what, an operand? So what did we treat equal as? A separator? Yeah. Okay. So do we want to call it operand or do we want to call it equal? Well, you can do it... there's cuz there's greater than and equal to those are all operands. Yeah, right? and these are all projections, right? We project all of those. Let's go with equal, Paul. Okay. Wardy. 
Yeah, the more specific we are now, the better the note when we go to nodes that will be. Yeah, so we want to, yeah, we want to let this O node service kind of just bother with building types, building trees. It doesn't know, it doesn't care. Do we want to use the word equals here? Because um, it is a keyword in our language. Do we say equal? Equal sign. I don't know. Since it's coming uh, from an enum, it should be okay. Because it's not from an okay. object. It's coming from an enum. Well, e the enum still has uh, equals as well. They do? Yeah, because it's still an object. It's a struct. Try it. I don't think so. Paul, if you do dot, does it does it give you equals outside of the... So, like yeah, stuff it into a variable. So True. just do var foo equals projected type dot equals. Okay. And then after that, do x dot. Okay. Okay, x dot. Is equals in on there? Okay, I guess I learned something. I thought it was. Talk, what are you talking about? What are you talking equals. about? The method on every object. But are enums objects? They're structs, aren't they? They're just ints. Well, I guess an int is an object. That's right. Or by, or they they they're basically any numeric type that's not decimal, right? I can't wait to see the YouTube comments. Anyways, on this one. let's let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's move on. All right, run, Paul. Run the runnies. Let's go. Paul Wardy. Paul's equal make is it. a separator in the O token type? Yeah, it is, right? Hmm, okay. Is, is it a separator or not? What did we determine? Oh it's, oh, it's a word, isn't it? Yeah. Is it really? Why is this thing not failing, though? Why is it not failing? Because it's hitting the default case. Oh, no, and he made it. He made it no. property though. No, that should fail. Yeah, this thing should fail. Why is it passing? So EQ, if it starts with, should, and then if. The... I wonder if the default case for that should return um, unidentified. No way, Joe. This thing oh, should fail, okay. right? Um, rebuild, fail. rebuild, and but now yeah. it is success. Just rebuild and run. I think I think it's these machines in England. They do something <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's a time zone issue. The the internationalization on his machine is bright. <laughs> I've not got it set up in American mode. See, see, look, look, mm. look. <laughs> I get problems like this all the time, and it's only been since I've installed the preview version. This is what I mean about preview and Microsoft oh. software. Uh, oh, Paul, Paul, someone just told me on my team, um, you know, Terry, if you're watching, thank you so much. I think you can actually run .NET 7 from the final release for Enterprise 2022. Oh, nice. There's a way to do it, you know. If you, if I'll show it, you I'll show it to you later. Just give me the failing test. Let's go. To be honest, the more I've played with this preview build, the more I'm enjoying it. Like every day, it's it's coming out with like new updates, new features. Yeah, yeah. It's, can, it's canary. It's it's um well not the canary version. Canary version is the one I have in here. Uh, this is more like a beta version, so it's more stable. But it's cool. It works. Okay, did you push the code, bro? There you go. There See, you go. even the the, the sure. even the thin arrow is weird. Okay, there here we go. go. One failing test. Are you just using the default class that came with Visual Studio? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if he is. Are you, Paul? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't changed any of the settings. This is just a clean install straight out of the box. The only thing I tend to change is the theme. I, I switch it to the dark theme if it's not already on it. But I've noticed now it started remembering it from my, presumably from my Microsoft profile or something. 
And it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, you, you previously used the dark theme, so we'll keep that. It's kind of nice. 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 Okay, let's do that. So here's a test. <clears throat> if I run the projections. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you satisfied with those test tools in Visual Studio? No. <laughs> I I told you like there will be a point in time where I'm going to rewrite the .NET framework itself and then rewrite all the tooling around it. I'm not even kidding. Like I just going to hold my nose up like this and use and use the stuff that we have today. Do I like it? Nope. I was just referring to that little survey alert at the top of your that guy? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I got Oh wow, I didn't know you were <laughs> <laughs> That went into a whole different discussion. Okay. I got right. dark quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate everyone that meets them. No, this I'm is kidding. that's that's programmers in the nutshell. We like, you know, just a simple question and they're like, I'm gonna rewrite the whole world. <laughs> Type and then equals. I think that's the right thing to do, right? Okay. <clears throat> so there are cases, of course, where we have to do a little bit more than that. But I am okay with poking a vertical, sorry, horizontal hole through the system. So I'm playing a new strategy here. There you go. So my new strategy here is to basically go and say, wait a second, I really want to. Um, I want to bring all components up to speed and then we can start adding new features. This way you can actually hit a SPNet core in like a couple of months, maybe a, a lot less than that. Anyway, um, let's let's stop in here at this point and let's let's pick it up on Wednesday. I think you know there there will be just a handful of keywords that we need to take care of and then we can start working with node uh service please think about a, a good name for node service or like an o node service or something like that because that's going to be very 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 o data specific and um uh the other thing is if we can just bring an expression like we don't have like we don't have to do complete every service to the end in order for us to bring something out there i want to do a vertical delivery sorry horizontal delivery so if i can tokenize project and uh, 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 o data expression cre create an expression out of dollar sign select equal name that's great we can start adding more horizontal slices on top of that this is my new strategy so please understand that like even if there are things that we need to take care of later that's okay let's just get out out with an alpha release and just see if it actually works so we can see the picture end to end this way, we can actually know what's waiting for us down the road and kind of enforce a little bit more concentration on the things that we know is going to challenge us, you know, in the long run. Um, I have a stand up to attend, but thank you all. I appreciate you. And uh, let's connect on Wednesday. It's going to be 8 a.m. from now onwards. OK, fix your time. I'll talk to you later. OK, take care.